you can read this story in the book of Daniel. It all takes place in the city of Babylon, 600 years before Jesus was even born. Now, Babylon had conquered all the surrounding enemies and was a very beautiful and wealthy empire ruled by a king called Nebuchadnezzar. But Nebuchadnezzar was troubled. You see, he had this dream and he knew it meant something. But not only did he not know what it meant, he couldn't even remember the dream at all. So he asked all the guys in the kingdom that were supposed to know stuff like that, what he had dreamed and what it meant. But they didn't know. God was not with them. They were clueless. So they said, look, tell us the dream and we'll tell you what it means. Now that made Nebuchadnezzar really angry. So he yelled, if you can't help me, I'm going to cut all of you into pieces and turn your houses into cow dung. Yikes. But that's not the end of the story. There was another guy. This guy was a follower of God. You may remember him from another story. Who do we have here? That's right. This is Daniel. You remember Daniel in the lion's den? He was a faithful follower of God. So he prayed, and sure enough, God revealed the dream to him and also its interpretation. You see, the dream revealed exactly what was going to happen down through history all the way to the present day. Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar that the head of gold represented Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar was so proud. Gold is an expensive metal. He felt important. But then Daniel said that the breast and arms of the statue represented another kingdom that was going to conquer them. Nebuchadnezzar listened quietly. Daniel kept explaining. He talked about each kingdom that would conquer the next until he finally got to the feet of the image, mixed iron and clay. He told the king that there would never be a world power again until the coming of Jesus. At first, Nebuchadnezzar seemed happy. He ordered everybody in his kingdom to worship Daniel's God. The mystery was solved. Hooray! But then he went out and made a statue all of gold and told everyone to bow down to it. Now here's where I want you to sit up and listen. Nebuchadnezzar pretended to believe what God revealed to him. But then he took a little of the truth and mixed in error. That's Babylon falling. 